Well, do good things come in small packages? We will find out the answer to that today. We have a new battery from Lightbus. Hopefully I'm saying their name right. This is a 12 volt, 100 amp hour, group 24 battery. It is a very, very small, compact little battery. So first I'm gonna go over the specs real quick, and then I'm going to do a capacity, and then some load tests, and then I'm actually gonna open it up and see what the build quality is. Let's go to the technicals first. It is 12 volt, 100 amp hour, prismatic cells, group 24, like I already mentioned. Its weight is 27 and a half pounds. I'll put the dimensions below, but it is a small group 24 battery for sure. You can put it in 4P and 4S. It does come with this manual that has everything you would need to know to install it. The charging specs are standard charging is 20 amps. Max charging is 100 amps. Now, I'm only going to do 50 amps today, so I won't be able to test the 100 amps, but I will be able to see if it can do 50. Now, the output, the standard discharge is 20 amps. Maximum continuous discharge is 100 amps. Peak discharge of 200 amps. We're going to see if we can test that. My inverter might not be able to get to that, but we'll see how close we can get. So that is the overview. The rest of the manual just has all the stuff you would need to install it, set it up. Pretty good manual. Let's charge this guy up and see what it can do. So before we charge it, let's see what it came shipped at. 13.3, uh, which is about normal. Now let's hook it up to the battery charger. Get some juice into it and see what this battery can do. It's a good looking battery. I like the orange. All right, the battery charging is gonna start in a second. Be back in a few hours we'll do some testing hang out let's have some fun so the battery is fully charged i just checked it on my meter and it was 14.6 it's now hooked up to the battery tester this will apply a low c load so i'm going to just turn these dials going to get up to about 170 watts it's going to be a little under a 0.2 c load all right let's see how well it did Really, really good. 104.5 amp hours, 13, 14.66 watt hours. So it easily passed capacity. So battery is fully charged. So now I'm going to do a high C capacity and load test. Those of you familiar with my channel are going to notice that the setting is a little different today. And that's because we are in the middle of a frigid, frigid Arctic blast ice storm and my workshop is just too cold to be in. So I'm in my office here, but the test is gonna be the same. I've got my watt meter hooked up to the inverter and a space heater hooked up to the watt meter. I'll turn it on. And uh, I'm gonna apply, I'm gonna apply a load and we'll just see how long it lasts. Okay, it's on medium. The watts are about 860 on the inverter. Watt meter is saying 850. So it's almost a 0.7C capacity load test. So this is gonna push the battery pretty hard. We'll see what kind of energy we get out of it. So we got 12.03, let me turn this off. 12.03 is amazing, considering it was a 0.7C test. These cables are warm. Um, that's a heavy capacity test and to get almost full watt hours out of it. I was getting ready to take the battery out to my workshop to do some load tests and I thought well wait a minute it handled that space heater really well during the capacity test I wonder if it can take a more than 1c load so let me just let me just do this what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the inverter back on battery's completely charged up again and I'm going to turn the let me turn this off so I can you can hear I'm going to turn the space heater on high and that's going to be a very high output so this is going at inverter says 1420 so that's more than 100 amps coming out right now 
this battery says it can do 100 amps continuous so let's see if it can do a really high C torture test uh, this is a little bit of an unfair test for this battery but uh, if it is successful it's going to be very impressive so let's run it through and let's see if it can do this for you know, this is going to be almost an hour at uh, you know 1400 plus watts so let's find out what happens so the battery shut off about 16 minutes in it was doing a well over 100 amp load so this is not a failure in my mind this is an incredible success of the the power of this battery it's just a workhorse and then it it has um, safety features because you can see the um, the BMS has shut down the inside so this is a workhorse and it appears to have um, pretty good protection on it uh, I don't consider this a failure at all I mean it was running well over spec over 16 minutes between 110 120 amps um, it's rated at 100 amps so uh, impressive and also impressive that it shut itself down before it got too hot or before the cells got hurt or anything internally was damaged so real quick I want to show you that this battery has overcharging protection too you can see the voltage on my power supply is over the recommended amount so you can see the BMS has shut down charging so no matter what I do the BMS inside the battery is not going to let the battery get charged anymore so it's completely protected from overcharging so the battery did exceptionally well on the capacity test and even did a little bit of load test and it did well but now I'm going to test it on heavy duty tools I've got inductive motors I've got a shop back I've got a compressor I've got a heat gun I want to see how well it does with heavy heavy loads so to start out with I'm going to turn on my heat gun on low I know it'll be able to handle that but I want to see if it can start an inductive motor with the heat gun on Let's see what happens no problem didn't even miss a beat Now I'm not going to run a bunch of loads for a long time because we've already done that with the space heater where we ran you know, 0 0.4, 0 0.7 loads for you know upwards of an hour. So I know it can do that. So I really now want to just see how well it can do starting and running bigger things with other things on. So now I'm going to start a compressor. So it ran a compressor and a heat gun at the same time. Now I'm going to turn on a heavy duty shop back. No problem. Heat gun now and the shop back. Now I'm going to turn on an inductive load and see if it can start the air compressor. That ran fine. Now I still have the inductive load going. I'm going to turn the heat gun on low. No problem. This battery can handle 100 amps and even over 100 amps, no problem. And I'm not talking gentle loads, I'm talking heavy tools, motors. Now the battery specs say it can go up to 200 amps. Now I only have a 200 watt inverter, so I can't push the outside limits of that, but I'm comfortable that it has BMS protection because when we were running the space heater on 1C, it shut down. The the BMS shut down the battery. So I'm pretty confident that the battery has overcurrent protection. And I also did some research. I watched a few other videos. Other YouTubers also 
had the same results where it got to several hundred amps and then shut down. So this, this battery can safely output heavy loads. If it gets too much, it shuts down. I always hate doing teardowns because um, I hate wrecking beautiful batteries and this was such a nice battery. Plus it's dangerous. You never know if you're gonna short something out. So do not do this at home. I don't recommend doing this. This can be very dangerous. If you have something metal that you're using to pry this open and you short something out, you can cause a big problem. So again, do not do this at home, but I have to do this because I have to see what the build quality of the battery is. So let's open it up. It took about a half an hour to crack it open, which is about standard. And uh, first glance, it looks pretty good. So let's take a closer look at all of this. So it has four 12 gauge wires um, on each side. Uh, BMS has a QR code. I tried scanning it, it didn't do anything. I did take a picture of it that I'll put up. It says PCM, uh, series of numbers. I don't know what that is. Uh, I'm not familiar with that BMS. Um, build quality, it looks neat. It looks tidy. I like that the, the uh, underside are covered. Get a little extra protection. It's in there snug. Everything is covered. Uh, the BMS has got separation between the BMS and the cells. Looks like the cells are on mounted on the side. Um, I mean, it looks neat and tidy and orderly. So I'm going to pull the cells out now. But I don't see anything jumping out at me that um, really bothers me. I just used the screwdriver to kind of loosen up each side all the way around. And I think it's just going to slide out. There we go. Let's see if we can take a look at these cells. It's um really a nice build. Um, it's just clean. Uh, it didn't have that battery stink smell. And if you've ever done teardowns, the people out there know what I'm talking about. A lot of these batteries. They just smell. This one, this one didn't have that smell. So I mean, look at the, you know the balance leads, nice and clean. Looks like they're soldered on. Laser welded bus bars. They've got the expansion in them. Again, you can see it's it's secured, so it's compressed. They've got um, some sort of membrane between the cells. The corners are protected. It's very well packed so it's not going to move around or get jostled uh, really nice nice build you know for 149 dollar battery uh the the build is um very very good it's better than a lot of batteries that i've reviewed that are considerably more expensive i don't see a qr code anywhere it's not a huge bms but i mean this is a small battery let me know what you guys think um if i'm missing anything but to me this looks like a um a nice build everything's coated this is soldered 12 gauge wire you know that's you know just a few inches so i don't think that's a huge deal there's that sensor so let me get to that sensor Let's test this guy. There you go. So it definitely is high temperature. I'll go grab some compressed air. Yeah, it's definitely just a high temperature. Well, there you go. Uh, an impressive battery. It's a $149 battery that performs outstanding and has protection. Now, what it doesn't have, 
It doesn't have Bluetooth. It doesn't have low temperature protection. So you're going to have to do something if you need both of those. But it is a powerhouse and it is safe. A lot of batteries on the lower end of the pricing will output, but they have no overcurrent protection. This one does. You can do 4S, 4P with this. So you can build a 48 volt system and do pretty much anything that you could do with a normal battery. Where this battery stands out is the fact that it is a bare bones, inexpensive powerhouse. So you could go out and you could buy 16 of these and build yourself an incredibly powerful 48 volt system at a budget price. It has a five year warranty. I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, what else can you say? It's inexpensive. It's a workhorse. It beat capacity. It's got great build quality. It's a solid battery. If I was building a new 24 or 48 volt system and I was on a budget and I wanted workhorse powerhouse batteries and I could put them into place where they wouldn't get too cold, I would buy these batteries. Just a solid battery. I mean, that's all there is to say about it. Uh, if anyone's used this battery or has any questions about what you've seen or wants to talk about another battery, anything you want to talk about, leave a comment below. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe. Again, it really helps out the channel. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to everyone soon.